Hi, paper crafters. Have you wondered what that simple chamois thing is and have some questions about how you care for it and clean it? Today, I'm going to answer them for you in my number 51 Joe Tips video. Welcome, I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. I'm so glad you dropped in today to find out a little bit more about that simple chamois. So a simple chamois looks like this, and this is a nice new one. So it comes in a package uh, from Stampin' Up! It's about three eighths, uh, three eighths maybe of an inch wide and thick, and it's sort of foamy. And when you get it, you're going to tear off the top like this, and it comes in, it's, it's sort of flexible. Uh, you can see that here, it'll actually take the shape, but it's a little bit hard. And what we need to do to get it going is we need to actually immerse it in a little bit of water. So here I am at our sink, and this is the brand new Simple Chamois, and I just run water over it. And when you do that, you'll see that it darkens up. So it's a little bit hard right now, but it's going to soften up. And this is brand new, so this one has never been used. And we're just going to give it lots of water. Now, if you want to use warm water, you can. You can use cold water, whatever you're comfortable with. It'll take a little bit of time the first time. And you could always put, set this in the water too and let it soak up that way if you want. Uh, maybe it will go a little bit quicker for you, but you really just need to get it full of water. So I'm going to leave it there and just mush it around a little bit. And make sure it's well saturated with water on the very first go around. And it will just get a lot more pliable as there's more water. Okay, so now I have it really good and wet and that probably took a good minute and a half, if not two minutes to get it full of water. And I can even see some places there where it probably could have a little bit more water. But then once you've taken all that time of putting all the water in it, now you're gonna wring it out. And you can do that a couple times too, okay? Cause you don't want it sopping wet, you want it wet definitely see how much more malleable it is you want it wet but you don't want it sopping wet okay so now it's ready to use so now we have it good and moistened up so um, remember you don't want to have it so that it's so wet that anything drips out of it it really is just fairly feels damp at this point and that's the best way to use it now how we're going to keep it i keep mine and it works really really well in just a standard stamp case and it sits in here and you can look and see how dirty this is going to get. So it gets dirty from your ink. So the very first time you use it, it's going to be hard to do, but go ahead and do it. So I've been working on this little card here with the uh, little Easter friends and this has ink on it. So all you're going to do is put it right on top, grimace a little bit, and you'll see that it leaves behind a good amount of ink and this is cleaned off and it's not really wet. That will dry really well. So how do I know when to wet it again? Now this will not come clean. So this will not come out of here. So don't worry about that. That's the, that's exactly what this is for. Now this one here, I've allowed it to dry a little bit and I can see that it's pretty dry because it's gotten stiff again. Doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It just means that it needs some more liquid. So there's two ways you can do that. You can just take one of our Stampin' Spritzers with clear water and you can spritz on top of it. But I actually find that I have to spritz that a fair bit before I can get it used again. So this is when I go back to the sink again and I'll rinse it off. So here we are again. Okay, so I am just going to run that under water again. It should not take quite as long this time for it to get uh, moistened up because it's not quite as dry as the last time. But I'm really working on these edges which are hard right now. But what you'll find when you squeeze it out is that the water will get colored. So this one doesn't have too much in it, it looks like, but you can see it's got sort of a pinky hue to it. Okay, so it will probably not run exactly completely clear again. And I wouldn't worry too much about that. As long as it's mostly clear, I think you're pretty good. This one was not quite as dry. 
It seems to not dry out very much in that um, case. Now Stampin' Up! does say to let them air dry and that's what this has done. Oh, and we'll finish that up. And then this is ready to go again. And it actually is cleaned, even though it doesn't look like it. Now you might be wondering why I have this one cut in halves. So one of the things that we like to clean all the time, certainly are stamps, but our stamparatus. So when our stamps are on our stamparatus, let me just move this up here. They get ink on them, of course, and then we want to clean them. And I just found that it was easier to work with a half size than a full size. And so it's easier just to lift that up and clean it this way. And it's very uh, quick and easy. Those are dried now. I can take out my plates and that's ready to go. Now, one other thing you can do to clean it, I personally have not found that I've needed to do it and it didn't really seem to make that big of a difference. You can actually throw this into the wash. So if you're uh, washing some rags or some old towels or something like that, maybe throw, throw them in the wash with it. Uh, it. Again, will not keep it completely clean, but it will clean them a little bit and get some of that ink out of there. So I hope that you uh, enjoyed those uh, tips and maybe you learned something along the way. If you have other tips, be sure to leave them in the comments below because I can share them with other people too. Thanks very much for joining me. Make sure you click on that subscribe button so you don't miss another video and pop on over to www.designwithjoe to check out my newsletter. Thanks very much. Have a great paper crafting day.